Welcome to Actual Scale Modeling. This is part 13 of Trumpeter's German 2cm self-propelled gun, scale 1 to 35. Now, part 13 is the uh, final reveal. So, as always, my thoughts on the kit before we get to that. Now, this kit is quite a difficult kit to build. It's what I would call a builder's kit. And what I mean by that is um, everything you can want from a kit is here. You have to build almost every single component uh, to make up the kit. So there's no preformed um, shells, for instance, that like you sometimes see in a tank. It all actually reminds me of a mini art kit um, with the amount of detail on it. And it did surprise me somewhat. And it took me a lot longer than normal to, to build. Generally, I'll build a kit within a week or two weeks. This took way over a month to build, um, which gave me a great challenge and I really, really enjoyed doing it. Now, there was some fitting issues, very small fitting issues, but they're there. But an experienced builder wouldn't have any issues with them. They're easy enough to fix and move on with the build. This kit could only be successfully done, I think, with an experienced builder. Um, a moderate builder may not have um, great results with it because of the amount of parts that you have to make up and the tools that you need to build this kit. So the photo etch bending tool for instance is a must on this kit um, or or an area where you can build you can fold um, very small photo etch parts up to um, uh, incorporate into the build. There's no alternative plastic parts for these parts and it'd be very difficult to scratch build uh, in plastic. So you really need the tools to build this kit. Hence why I'm saying that only an experienced builder should actually build this kit. I mean, there's nothing to say you can have a go at this kit if you, uh, if you consider yourself a moderate uh, middle of the road builder. Um, and if you've never tried something like this, but there is a, a Tamiya kit of uh, a similar uh, half-tracking gun uh, out there, which may be slightly easier to build if you haven't uh, built anything like this before. Um, by all means, have a, a go at it, but it will uh, push you to the limit. And if that's what you want, well, go for it. But um, just be aware, it is, can be a difficult kit to build. But if you're the sort of builder that loves building kits so that um, you have to put every single unit together, this will be the kit for you. Um, I do love that challenge myself personally, and um, so I really enjoyed this kit. Even though I may have made a couple of mistakes along the way, everyone does I suppose. Um, you know, but it, it is um, a good kit to um, carry on with your skills. but. Really, an expert builder is, is probably the best place uh, for this kit. The gun alone is quite technical to build, and a lot of that is to do not only with these small parts and four edge parts, it's to do with the instructions. The instructions, I'm sorry to say, are not brilliant on this kit. Um, they are in Chinese, of course, um, so you have to rely more on uh, a picture aid uh, than normal. So again, a more experienced builder will be able to follow it to a certain extent but you, you really do have to look at it and see where each part goes if you're not familiar with this type of uh, vehicle. The only disappointment I had with the kit was um, the uh, flatbed part of, of the build and the position of the gun. Now I would have liked that, that gun to, to twist around and move while the um, flaps were up. But I suppose in real life the government would be locked off so it didn't move while it was in transit. But there's barely any room for the gun to fit once the, the flaps are in the upright position. In fact, you, you really have to manoeuvre it quite a way where you think I may have to bend the ornaments just to get it in. So that part of the kit was poorly designed. And again, an experienced builder will be able to get around this somewhat uh, without damaging the kit too much, but you really shouldn't have to do that. 
However, overall, um, as I said, I enjoyed the build. It took me longer than normal, which is a good thing as well. It challenged me, you know. So um, I'm quite happy and pleased with the results. And this brings me to the uh, final reveal. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel to see my other builds and maybe something else there that you would enjoy watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be kept up to date on my next build and all future builds as well, of course. Hit that like button, leave a comment and, of course, share the video. All these things help grow the channel. Um, I don't generally act actively try and grow my channel, but um, it's still nice to see it rise a little bit every now and again. So for everyone who has subscribed and followed the channel, thank you all very much. So here is the final reveal and I hope you really enjoy it as much as I did. So for now, thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you on the next build. Bye for now.